couple of the body parts that needed to be painted in the same color as the main body itself were still attached to the sprues, so they were cut off and then the tabs were cleaned up with the flush cut pliers and also some sanding sticks. As you can clearly see, the body is molded in black plastic, so it's really hard to show with a black marker where the mold lines actually are. So I'm just going to show them with the knife itself, and then of course start removing them in the same fashion I would otherwise. The mold line on the rear bumper was pretty thick, so I started removing the main bulk with a knife and then started sanding it flush with some of the sanding sticks and smoothing it out eventually with some of the sanding sponges. Once I was finished with removing all of the mold lines, I checked over the panel lines themselves. They were all nice, deep and crisp, so they did not need any adjustment whatsoever, so I could move straight on to sanding the body down with 600 grit sandpaper. While going through the instructions, I noticed at the end that you can glue the bumper on before painting, which makes it a lot easier to match it and also not have any glue spills later on when it's all painted. And the same goes for the side scoops. Now that all of the parts and pieces are prepped, I moved on to priming them, even the smaller parts, and could then eventually move on to sanding that primer smooth after a couple of coats have laid down and move on to the color. With the first coat of primer now applied, I let it sit and cure for about 5 minutes and moved on to applying a second and final coat of primer. I gave that second coat of primer about 15 minutes to dry, then took out some 3000 grit and started sanding that primer layer very smooth before I started applying the color. So in the community section on YouTube I asked you guys if you wanted to have it in any other color than black and gold. A couple of you suggested various different colors, but the main bulk of you suggested to stay with the black and gold theme, so that is what I did. I took out a metallic black as I thought that would look kinda good. 
In the end, after two coats, it covered pretty well, but I didn't really like the look and I decided to change it up and just go to the stock straight black. With the first coat now applied, another 5 minutes of cure time has passed and I could add a second coat. Once the second coat was applied, the coverage was pretty much there and I came to the conclusion that I did not like the metallic look of the black on this car. So I decided, as mentioned earlier, just to paint over it with some normal not metallic black to stick with the theme of the actual car. The first coat of the jet black pretty much covered it all the way, but just to be sure, as usual, I added a second coat to be absolutely sure. Now before applying the decals, I made sure to let the paint dry for about an hour and then carefully started placing them one by one. There are a couple of methods of placing the decals. In my case, I always apply some setting solution to help set them in place, add as an extra glue, and also soften and conform them a bit. Now you can take the decal off of the backing paper and start finagling it around and eventually putting it in place, but you can also just take it with the backing paper, place it on the body, and then slide it in place, which is a lot easier with a lot of the bigger decals. The stripes are now all in place and dried pretty nicely so I could cut out the slits in the door lines to make those fold in 
added some softening solution to help them fold over and conform to the shape of the panel line, of course, placed a couple of the final logos on the rear and some of the indicators or markers on the side, let that all dry for a good couple of hours and moved on to clear coating. So as always, I'm going to go over those hard to reach, easy to forget spots first, then give the decals a light dusting of clear to prepare them for some of the thicker layers of clear and eventually move on to clear coating the entire body in a couple of coats until I'm happy with the way that the finish looks. first and second coat of clear are on. It looks nice and smooth, but it wasn't really there at the way I wanted it to be. So I added a little bit more thinners into the mixture of clear that I had left and went over it a third and final time to make it as smooth as I could possibly get with the clear coating. And there you have it, the third and final coat of clear is on, it's nice and smooth and I can let it sit and cure for a couple of days. In the meantime I will be moving on to the interior and chassis. Now I'm not sure what color I'm going to go with for the interior, I'm debating between a saddle tan brown and a just straight black as the original car was. Let me know down in the comments below what you think I should do and I'll see you in the next video.